Hi guys, thank you for tuning in and being with us for this private concert, also known as the Austin 360 Studio Sessions presented by Ticket City. Shout out and thank you to all of our veterans. Happy Veterans Day to everybody. If you're watching us live on Facebook Live, you can uh, ask questions to our special guest of the day in the comments section because today we have Austin Group Dossie. Yay. And they're going to play four songs for, uh, for oh, four songs for us to enjoy live right here on this Austin 360 studio session presented by Ticket City. Afterwards, I have a chance to ask your questions. So again, post any questions for Dossie in the comments section. Without further ado, here is Dossie. Thanks. <laughs> um, 
I uh, am so happy to be here with you guys um, in the interweb world and in the real world. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> my name is Dossie. My name is Sarah Dossie, and this is my friend Russell, Russell Parks. Hi, and uh, he is uh, here with me today as a friend, compatriot, and true talent. So I'm lucky to have him with me. And uh, so when we were talking about this live thing, uh, we both decided, because Russell sings too, we both decided that it be, could, would be cool for us both to do like a, our own cover song. Yeah. And so um, Russell's going to introduce his cover song now. Yeah, we got two cover songs. <laughs> uh, this first one, the song has really for me been like, Man, it's been one of my favorites for maybe like two weeks. Yeah, two. Two weeks. Probably. I think it came out like a month and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I just really feel like in a, such a divisive time that we live in, we need something to bring us together. And I just kind of feel like it's the song a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, anyway, hope, hope you like our version. PPAP. <laughs> I have a pen, I have an apple. Uh, apple pen. I have a pen, I have pineapple. Uh, pineapple pen, apple pen, pineapple pen. Uh, pen pineapple, apple pen. Pin pineapple, apple pen. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> Sarah's got the next cover song. Have you guys enjoyed that?
Thanks, guys. Um, <clears throat> so I would be remiss uh, if I didn't say something on today of all days, it being Veterans Day. Um, <clears throat> I, like almost all of us, have family members that are veterans or are serving the military uh, right now. And uh, I know that um, I will never understand the sacrifice that they have all made on behalf of us as a nation. I'll never know that. Um, and I, I, we were talking about it before, like what a crazy time this week has been for everybody and um, how music just makes things better when they're not so great. And um, <clears throat> I know that even in this time where our country is so divided, that at least there's one thing that I know can divide us all, and that's our gratitude to veterans who make it possible for us to even disagree online. And so um, I just want to, on behalf of us, Russell and I, um, thank you for your service. And um, we know that we couldn't disagree online, and I couldn't write songs about whatever the heck I want to write about um, if it weren't for, for you. So. Um, with that, this next song is called Unyielding. Mm -hmm. I live in shadows. You have the This is our last one, and we are so thankful to Austin 360 for having us today for the studio sessions. This has been so much fun. It's probably, you know, it's like, you guys are all here. I can see you. I didn't know if we were going to be doing, playing music for robots, and I'm glad we're not. So um, anyways, uh, I'm Dossie. It's nice to meet you, internet people, and uh, you can find us at DossieTX on any of the 
interweb social medias. So <laughs> uh, without further ado, this is my last song. It's called Light for Light. I hope you like it. If you're tuning in live, I am here with Austin Group Dossy. Hello. And we just enjoyed a really gorgeous private concert. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. This is just so much fun. I honestly, it's so fun. It was fun. I also, I love that you guys were both into it. You're an amazing dancer. Oh, thank you. I don't know how much people at home were able to get a wide <laughs> shot to see, but I was like, yes, Sarah Dossie, yes. Um, I, I, will, I will not claim those dance moves. Uh, I have to give them up to my father. He was the perfecter of the overgrown hunchback dance. Nice. 
And I just naturally, it's just in my blood. I, I don't even have any reason for it. Shout out to Father of Dossie. <laughs> Nicely done. If you're just tuning yeah. in, this is the Austin 360 Studio Sessions presented by Ticket City. And again, this is Austin Group Dossie. And Dossie was just dancing. And I get to now ask a few questions. If you're watching on Facebook, you can post questions in the comments section. And I will be checking my phone in my mm. pocket and asking them shortly. Hey, that's fun. I know, right? It's, I didn't uh, know that happened. Yeah, it's very, this is, we don't have magical ways. I have, <laughs> I have an old phone. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, so, I will start with a few questions and then we'll check in with people who are catching us today. Um, I need to tell you, I love your hair. Thank you. How long have, have you been pink? Oh, I was born with it. It's natural. I was yeah. wondering. I was. Yeah. I uh, was wondering. <laughs> I, I've actually, I've, I've gone kind of uh, all over the map. I think the only color I haven't been is, is black, probably. Um, but You're young yet. Sort of. <laughs> Wait be. for it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So I was really loving, and thank you for the shout out to the veterans who serve our yeah. country when you guys played yield, Unyielding. Yes. Um, will you tell me about writing that song? Um, yeah, that song, you know, it's, it's actually one of my, the favorite songs that I've, I've ever written. Um, it was, and I know that a lot of artists or songwriters will have a similar experience um, to writing songs that just feel like they come out of you. This one just like, it was like I, you know, disappeared for a while, and then the song came out, and then I woke up from a trance, and I was like, "Who wrote that?" You know, uh, and so, <laughs> um, melody-wise, I just love singing it. But um, really, the song is is about, and uh, for me, it's it's my own faith, um, uh, Christian faith. But I think too that um, other people, if you're if you're not a believer, you can. I think everybody can kind of determine one person in their lives who constantly kind of keeps them grounded, whether that's your mom or a significant other or, um, you know, I, I think that we all kind of need that one thing. And so um, that's why I wrote that song, because I, I feel like it's, it's something that everybody can identify with. It's like, I don't always have the answers, but I know that somebody can be the rock for me. And so, yeah, so that's that. It's a great song. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was really, it was really beautiful. Thanks. Speaking of, I was reading some of the comments. It must be super fun when you play live here and you look out and you see everyone <laughs> <laughs> on their phones like, yes, this is amazing. We're also with you here. Yeah, um, right. I saw a lot of people who were like, she's so ethereal. This is really pretty. Hmm. How do you describe your, your, um, your sound? Um, well, I, you know, honestly, I, uh, so I do, I do Dossie, but I also play in a bluegrass band called Indian and the Jones. And, uh, so We much, like the name. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Studio audience approved. It's pretty fun. Uh, just check it out. But, um, I, I think that my basis has always been folk songs. I've always loved, like I grew up listening to Joan Baez and uh, it really, honestly, Joan Baez and then there's a few other bands that I would like attribute teaching me how to sing. And um, and I know that I'm, I was always singing from when I was a kid. And so I think that just kind of vocally happens. And so, um, yeah. So that's that's really all I can say. I think it just, you know, you you have growing up, thank God, like we have so many like great influences and access to creative things and art art things and um, and anyway. So that's just kind of what comes out naturally. It's what it sounds like. So <laughs> we dig it. We dig Thanks. it. Thanks. Okay, I want to play a game on live TV. Oh yes. <laughs> all right. Yes. Let's play rapid fire, okay? Oh gosh. Rapid response, <laughs> rapid response. I'm really good at this. Okay, good. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay, question number one. Where's the last place you ate in Austin, Texas? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> see, I'm really bad. Probably my, my well, house. Okay, okay. <laughs> Noted. <Just> like, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, I wasn't specific. I ate in my house this morning. <laughs> What's your go-to breakfast taco spot? Oh, uh, Taco Deli. Oh. Yeah. Okay. For this sure. is good. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> favorite place that you have played so far, anywhere? So far. So far. Other than this. Other than this moment right now. Actually, um, I played it, we played at Swan Dive like way the heck late at night one time uh, back in August, and that was so much fun. I know Russell felt like he was dying, he told me, but because uh, it was really late. But um, it's so fun because I think that like, 
you know, when you play earlier on in the day, people are like, okay, this is cool. I'm just going to sit and I'm going to like have my happy hour time. Uh, but late at night, people don't care if, uh, anything. <laughs> so like, even if they know, don't know your music, they like dance and that's so fun. I, I love that. I, I love seeing people like enjoy themselves. And that's a good connection. So yeah. All right. Um, if you could collaborate with any artist, you already collaborate with Russell, but any <laughs> artist at all, oh. who would you say, boom, I want to collaborate with them at this time? Uh, Roykstop or London Grammar? Ooh, I did Which not see that. Okay. Two. Audience approves. No. Audience approves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> if you could drive any vehicle, no rules, what would it be? Oh, any vehicle. Um, no probably, rules. Probably, oh man, I, I used to drive a 4Runner, a Toyota 4Runner, and I loved it, and we had to get rid of it, and I'm sad every day because of it. So I want, I want Judy back. Okay. That's her name. <laughs> if you see her on the street, bring if Judy home. If you see home. Judy, bring her home. Sarah Dossie's calling for Tell Judy. Her she's ready. The forerunner. We're ready for her. Okay. <laughs> on that, I'm going to check in with Facebook and see. Do, do, do. There are questions that come from our Facebook viewers. Mm -hmm. Are you, Dossie, influenced by indie? Any leanings towards pop? Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I think. Hmm. Like indie artists in general, maybe? We're guessing yes. Yeah. I, uh, okay, this is actually a really good question because I'm starting to write songs for my next record. This is the first thing that I've done. And, um, <clears throat> and it was definitely an experiment for me. I'd never done anything like it before. And uh, I just always listened to, um, I grew up listening to it from like Depeche Mode and Massive Attack and um, yes. very vibey stuff that I was always into, Tom York, um, Radiohead, and so obviously. Really light. Yeah, light, light stuff, light. really light stuff. <laughs> um, and so I always kind of wanted to do something like that, and um, so we kind of made all the, these folk songs that I'd written into these songs, um, but for the next record, I'm like, well, it would be really fun, like, uh, you know, looking back at the Swan Dive show that we had, people were dancing, I like to see people have fun, and so and pop music is all about people having fun, and so um, I've started writing more like pop, you know, dance songs uh, for this next record. So I would say both. I I like um, the indie sound, but I know too that like sometimes people just want to, you know, hang, get crunk. <laughs> so I could not have said that better. <laughs> <laughs> With that, when is your next show? When is our next? When are the next possibilities yeah. for people to catch you live? Um, I'm playing in San Antonio and in Houston. Uh, in the month of December uh, with a gal that was on The Voice. Her name is Sarah Simmons. I'm sorry if I get that wrong. Simons, maybe. Um, but then the next show in Austin is with a band called Boohoo, and that's actually at Swan Dive. That's a CD release party for them, and uh, that's in January, the end of January on a Saturday. So it's okay if you're out late. Totally. Yeah. Saturday, no rules. It's okay. No rules. No rules. While out. That's right. Awesome. What she said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, working on your next CD. Yes. If people want to find you now, you mentioned mm -hmm. it earlier, but we may have some new viewers. Where is the best place? I'm fun on live today. Uh, where's the best place? Twitter, Facebook, where do you talk most? Um, I people? probably talk, uh, everything I post is from Instagram and then just kind of filters out. I am on Twitter and I, I do, I like to put up like, quotes that inspire me on Twitter. I don't really have much to say. Usually it's about food. You do write um, music. This is so why we like each other. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm like, food, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I would say definitely uh, follow me on Instagram or Twitter on Facebook. And what's um, the handle again? It On any of those, it's Dossie TX. That's D-O-S-S-E-Y-T-X. We can do it. Yeah. Okay. I believe in you guys. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Connect with Dossie, as she said, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. In the meantime, Dossie, thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for having me. And if you're watching at home, this is the Austin 360 Studio Sessions presented by Ticket City, and it's Dossie. <laughs>